Okay, another round three winner's bracket game, this time between two Germans, UES Shepard and Congreve. Uh, okay, I want to try something really quick. People told me to reduce the game volume. I originally had it at five, but I moved it up to 15 because I wanted uh, to try something out, and then people said it was too loud, so back to five we go. <laughs> So now it should just be barely noticeable, besides my voice. So uh, we have UES Shepard, uh, plays a lot in the WWPCT that you guys should check out. I'll try, to, it's, I'm not going to remember, but I'll try to put the link in the description. And if I forget and you guys want me to put the link in the description, please remind me. And I will do so, because you'll remind me and I'll remember. So hopefully that was clear, because I don't think it was. But, uh... We have U.S. Shepard as U.F. going uh, first land, second air, um, yeah, what the fuck, seven PGNs, okay. And uh, Congreve, Cybern, very ballsy, especially against a good player like U.S. Shepard, going first land, second air with six PGNs, so very similar build, but we have an early scout from Congreve rolling around, but we have an early scout from U.S. Shepard as well, as well as McMarine. So interesting that these players are playing nearly identically. You can see their scores are almost the same. Well, now they're not. So Shepard might be planning to make slightly more air than Congreve is just because of his 7 P-Gen build and using the mech's adjacency. So great placement of the air factory from U.S. Shepard. And I've been trying to abuse the new mech's adjacency bonus as much as I can, but it's really hard because... You have to position your factories in so in a specific way. I think I'm gonna have to make build templates for that, so that it's easier. Because you try to get all four factories around one mechs, and that takes a lot of time to click everywhere. So I think templates might be the way to go. See early NGs, and uh, the scout is gonna see a raiding party from uh, UES Shepard. We have two Mantis out for Congreve. But this mech marine is uh, really good. You can see it's going to skirt around the edge. And it's planning to get all the way in the back. So this is a crazy plan from Yuya Shepard. And it's already got stuck. Alright, now it continues on its epic journey. So even though I despise this map, uh, the terrain is really well designed. Well, not the terrain, but the visual. It really does look quite nice. And the idea is pretty good too. Uh, two land masses and then a pass where you don't want to go because it's dead man's pass. And now this bomber could be very nice. Oh, a very. This is a, this is excellent from Congre from uh, UES Shepard. It's coming back for more. I think it won't get any more passes, but that was excellent. One pass, three kills. It's about as good as it could have gone. Uh, the only way it could have been better is if he had taken out this NG as well. But stranding Congre with one NG is good enough. This mech marine continues its epic run around the edge of the map, has not killed anything yet, but uh, it senses its time is rapidly approaching. But this bomber has other plans. Uh, mech marine, he died young. He was too young to die. So uh, weird, uh, Guya Shepard's interceptor gets caught in between Congreve's interceptor, so uh, Shepard taking emergency preparations, getting flak out. Just a single flak? That's not gonna do much. Losing more NGs, so Congreve has definitely gotten his payback. Actually, the bomber survives. Could go after this NG if he knew about it. Oh man, brutal. Now stationary flak is up. But so many NGs kill. I mean, that's not even funny. That's just cruel. And lots of power, well, that's a lot of power planned. Because obviously there's so much mass in the middle. It's just ridiculous. This NG needs to be reclaiming. You see Congreve reclaiming. Just gonna keep his mass balance really well. I mean, I'm assuming that he just wants to keep it above minimum, so he has reclaimed. And when do we see teching? Looks like a lot of teching for Congreve. Running low on power though, he needs to make up for that. We can see this is where Voodoo went wrong last game. There's so many hydros, uh, three hydro. I mean, no, no, not three. Two hydros. I thought there was a third. So two hydros, and uh, with 
two hydros that Voodoo didn't pick up, he could have easily gotten his Tech 2 gunships up much faster if he had those extra 200 power. But, like I said, I'm not going to criticize Voodoo too much because he would destroy me any day of the week, like I said. Here's Congreve just using the factory attack move to reclaim at distance. Do we see something similar for Shepard? We don't. So Congreve is going to try to do a run around. Not going to work though. I don't expect it to work. Volume is a little bit too loud now. I don't see any Tech 2 from Congreve. Do we see Tech 2 from Shepard? Uh, no, we don't. So minute eight, uh, 806, no one wants any Tech 2. So Shepard is getting the gun on his ACU. Uh, let's check his power. Oh, well, he's got mass problems, but mass problems are pretty inexcusable when you've got this much mass sitting next to you. Looks like Shepard recognizes that, getting the mass from the rocks. And now his energy's being retarded, like a turkey. I was having this discussion with Benzel, and he was saying how turkeys are the world's most retarded animals. And that made me laugh. Uh, looks like Congo with better unit positioning. His units are in a tighter bunch and getting a lot more damage done at once. Uh, hit an NG from Shepard. I wonder if this thing is even going to survive. I think it will unless Congo pulls a single unit back and deal with it. And the gun is about to finish for Shepard. That's going to make Congo's life pretty painful. Congo is running away. He might be thinking about an upgrade of his own. So this mountain has been carved into pretty well by these two players. Still a lot of, lots of mass though, and this is bad for uh, Shepard. These units are going to run right up the side of the mountain. We're going to see a battle on this sort of angle. This is why Subcom is the best, because just what other game can you have units charging up a hill and getting shot at and shooting at the same time? I mean, seriously, that's just one of the many things of this game. I don't understand the case that anyone has that this game isn't the best. Shepard running into a lot of trouble here with. Uh, point defense being spammed up extremely quickly by 10 or so NGs. So good play from Congreve. He gets rid of the gun to ACU. He needs to be thinking about an upgrade of his own. Maybe Tech 2 is a bad idea because Cyber and Tech 2 PD would absolutely suck on this map. We see Tech 2 flackouts. So that means Tech 2 land. It is right here. Hoplites. Hoplites, I think, at least have the same range as the gun to ACU. So range will not be a, an advantage for Shepard anymore. I think oftentimes people neglect range, they don't realize how important it is. These NGs are being retarded again. Congreve needs to tell his NGs to move their asses and do what he wants them to do. So now we see Tech 2 Air, so it is going to be Tech 2 Land versus Tech 2 Air, but with Tech 2 Flak, it's going to be pretty difficult for Shepard to do anything. And now his issue is looking pretty isolated, surrounded by Congreve's uh, forces. Congreve is just going to march right the way around. And uh, we see Tech 2 transports out for Shepard. I wonder what he's planning to do with those. Could be thinking about, oh, mech marines. So he's making some massive ghetto gunships. I see what his plan is. So uh, now Janus bombers as well. So if you get three Tech 2 ghettos, you're in really good shape. And if you pair it with Janus bombers and maybe gunships, you're in really good shape. Now Shepard. So I like his thinking because Congreve is pretty isolated. He just needs to keep his ACU alive long enough to pull off the snipe, which he should be able to do. I mean, 10k health, gun, it's going to be really hard to kill him. And with Janus Bombers being spammed out, he should probably just pause his land factories and just focus everything on the air snipe. So three ghettos about to complete and three Janus Bombers out. Congreve, is, I mean, U.S. Shepard is in full retreat. Congreve with a ridiculous amount of units. Just running everything over. No, don't walk towards the forest. Don't be, don't do what Voodoo did. Just run, run all the way back to your base. You have the potential to snipe Congreve. So Congreve now with Tech Two. Okay, still no kills at all on the ACO. Oh, this is bad. This could be really bad for Shepard. Congreve with Tech Two Flak, and if he doesn't move, if he keeps his ACU next to this thing, it's going to be really hard for Shepard to snipe him, especially with Ghetto gunships. But he is just going to go for it. Looks like he does have a, a good idea of where Congreve's ACU is. If he sees the flag, he might think twice, though. Um, okay, so this is good. 
Shepard is gonna try to take out the flak with the Janus Bombers first. They all hit the mountain though. Fucking retarded turkeys. Okay, here we go. He is just going for it. It is going to be... Oh man. Oh man. Split screen time. Holy shit. Okay, Congreve. And Shepard with 1200. If these units had just been target firing him, it would have been a draw. Okay, wow. Nicely done. Nicely done, Shepard. He wins round three versus Congreve, and Shepard is in round four. Congreve is in the loser's bracket. That's probably not what you have predicted at the beginning of this game, but it is true. An amazing air snipe pull off by Shepard as a last ditch uh, resort to win the game. And Congreve could easily have gotten a draw if he had been paying attention. Obviously, it's hard to pay attention elsewhere when you're about to lose your whole uh, ACU and your whole game. But nevertheless, really well played from uh, U.S. Shepard. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I know I did. That was probably the game of the tournament so far. So we're moving on.